Well, Mama, in me, Luigi, who ate all the bananas? <laughs> Hello Super Mario fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. The moment a lot of Super Mario fans have been waiting for is finally here. Because as many of you know, Nintendo and Illumination Studios has been hard at work at an animated movie with Mario. Everything has been so secretive and hush-hush, but they finally just went ahead and announced the full voice cast that I'm like, I don't know if this is horrible or so terrible that it could be brilliant. Seriously, some of these choices I absolutely love, while other ones I'm like, Really? So I'm gonna need you guys to give me your opinions down below with this full reveal of the voice casting for the Super Mario movie. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Who do you think was a good choice? Who do you think was a bad choice? Excuse the old man mustache here. It's the only one I had left in my box of costumes, so... I'm old Mario. And also Funko doesn't make Mario Funko Pops. What the hell, so... Chucky Luigi. But first I want to go ahead and thank the sponsor for today's video and that is Star Trek Fleet Command. Star Trek Fleet Command is a free to play iOS or Android game that you can download right now using the link in my description or pinned comment. With this mobile game you are able to explore the entirety of the Star Trek universe all the way from Next Generation, the original series, even the J.J. Abram films. In this strategy game you'll not only be able to build your dream crew from characters of the previous Star Trek films and series, but also work your way to driving the starship of your dreams whether that be the Enterprise or the SS Batani Bay. And even though I'm a casual fan of the Star Trek series, I still like how this game just puts in the detail to let you pick all the different characters that you would want from that universe. Because now where we live in an era where everything is multiverse, it's pretty cool to Frankenstein together your favorite version of what you see the Star Trek universe to be. So again, don't wait any longer. Go ahead and use the link in my description to be able to download Star Trek Fleet Academy for your iOS or Android devices. Not only will you be supporting my channel in the process, you'll also be having some fun yourself. Thanks again to Star Fleet Academy for sponsoring this video. All right, so this was all announced earlier today as part of Nintendo Direct, which is something Nintendo does from time to time where they want to show off some upcoming video games and I guess also update in the world of Nintendo on what's going on. I had no idea they would be doing this. I thought it was good enough news that we were going to be getting Nintendo 64 on the Nintendo Switch Online, but here they decided to reveal the full casting list and let's just go through it one by one. Let's start off big here with our top player that I was like, really, this guy? They casted Chris Pratt as the voice for Mario. Damn Emmett is gonna be the voice of Mario. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. Now look, I love Chris Pratt. I think he's a great actor. I think he's funny. I like most of his work, but I never pictured him as the voice of Mario here. It doesn't really seem to fit the profile and I kinda highly doubt Mario will be doing the stereotypical Italian accent. I mean, that is what Mario has sounded like to us all our lives. Unless you wanna count that live action movie. So I don't think Chris Pratt is gonna be pulling off that high pitched voice that we know Mario to have. He's probably gonna sound like his regular self. And this is just what Hollywood does where they cast big name actors to be part of their animated movies to get people excited to go see their film. I just, I, I gotta hear what he sounds like as Mario first. Then they announce Anna Taylor-Joy as Peach, and you know what? I think this fits pretty good. I like Anna Taylor-Joy. I think she's an underrated actress, and I really think they're gonna make Peach like this independent woman who probably fights back Bowser when she gets kidnapped in this movie. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor-Joy. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. So that's a good one for me. I approve. And then the next one up, the brother of Mario, Luigi, voiced by Charlie Day. You know what? I think this one's brilliant. I think... I'm gonna take off this damn mustache. It's falling off. I'm getting sweaty from all this excitement. I think Charlie Day is perfect for this role because he does give off that vibe of someone squeamish or scared and timid. That's just kind of the role he plays off sometimes. And Luigi has just always been that character that we make fun of that always gets the second boot that is left in last place. So I think Charlie Day will be able to play that up pretty good. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. And on the subject of our Mario Bros kind of having a high-pitched voice to them, Charlie Day can pull that off very well, so I think they did a good job there. Next up, what the heck were they thinking here? Seth Rogen as the voice of Donkey Kong. <laughs> what? This is one I'm 50-50 on, because part of me is like, yo, that, that's kind of brilliant. Seth Rogen does have this kind of grazely, chill down voice that could be very well pulled off with Donkey Kong, but at the same time, Seth Rogen has a very iconic laugh and mannerisms that I don't know if they fit the persona of a Donkey Kong. I thought they were gonna go with someone with more of a stronger, deeper voice. 
Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. But honestly, I can't even be too upset because now this confirms Donkey Kong is part of the Super Mario movie. We did not know that before. We just thought it was going to be an origin for Mario and Luigi. So it's kind of great to know that Donkey Kong will be part of this movie. And you know if this goes well, they could do spin-offs here and there. And Seth Rogen can star in his own film. Then we have Keegan-Michael Key who will be playing Toad. I love me Keegan-Michael Key. Toad can be a funny guy here and there. We haven't really seen him talk much other than some random sound effects coming out of his mouth. The comedian Keegan-Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. So unexpected and just more talent being added onto the movie. I'm okay with that. And then the one that I think was the slam dunk here, and I don't care who disagrees with me, Jack Black will be voicing Bowser. That's right, you heard me. Damn Nacho will be voiced by Jack Black, and I love it, okay? I think Jack Black will probably be able to pull that off really well. I do think this might mean Bowser is a bit of a fumbling, dumb bad guy, but I think Jack Black is someone who would make the role of Bowser very entertaining. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. And I'll just be straight up with you guys. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer. You know I like to be as positive as possible when it comes to movie news here, but this stuff kind of opens your eyes to what Nintendo and Illumination are trying to do here. They're just trying to make an entertaining family movie with some celebrities thrown in there. While I was picturing an animated Super Mario movie to look like the cutscenes of Mario Galaxy, that is something just so beautiful, ominous, and great to look at. With Mario and Luigi being the heroes of their movie, saving Peach, it looks like it's just gonna be junk food fun for families, and that's not a bad thing. Because in my mind, that's kind of what the Lego movie was. It had a lot of heart in there, and they weren't afraid to use some celebrity voice cast like Chris Pratt, to have a little fun, joke around, and make things silly, but at the end of the day, the story they told was still really good. Illumination still has yet to win me over with a lot of their movies. I do like some of them, but I never end up loving them, and I was hoping the Super Mario movie could be the one to change that for me, especially since Nintendo is so directly involved. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. So again, I'm not against this. I'm willing to give it a shot, but you gotta these were some surprising voice casts. I want to hear from you guys out there. Who did you like that they added in here? Who do you think was a horrible choice? I'm really curious to hear from you guys. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the other videos I made today because I made two of them. A Spider-Man update and a Scream 5 update. That's why I got this guy out here. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris Mario. Bye-bye.